prints. No. 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 Yes! <laughs> okay, this is a 30 by 40 print I just received from Bay Photo. This was taken with my Canon 5D Mark IV. You know, we take, take tons of pictures with our Fujis and our Canons and our Sonys. Well, not so much with our Sonys. But how many photographs do we actually make? Oh! Are you making photographs where you can actually hold them, feel them, see them, enjoy them? Uh, digital is great, you know, but it's so nice to get a print. Now this is for a client, but what I decided to do for you guys was uh, print some of the Fuji files we talked about last time. Let's go get those. Ah! Okay, so I decided to get some of the images done from our 56 1.2 review. That lens was great to do uh, the Art Wolf technique, which is he will zoom in to a particular place on a landscape to kind of get an abstract look. I was kind of excited to try that. Here are some of the images I got printed. First, I'll show the JPEG, and here is the print, upside down, okay. And I got it in a metallic finish, a metallic paper. And this is by Bay Photo. Now, Bay Photo is based in California, in the US. But anyway, I use White House Custom Color, which is another great company, Bay Photo. I've used Miller's. All those guys are really great. You pretty much can't go wrong as long as you understand uh, a little bit about how color works on your computer monitors, a little color profile things, and we'll talk about that. Now you have to think about where you're hanging these because if you're hanging it across from a window, it's really not the best viewing. Uh, so this kind of works somewhere where there isn't much glare. That's number one. Two, if there is a lot of glare, oh, sorry, spoilers. I'll put the JPEG here. <laughs> And I got a matte finish of the skull. I was really liking this matte finish for this image. Uh, so that is really nice. And the third, my favorite, I got it a little larger because it was my favorite picture from the trip and my best Art Wolf impersonation is, wait, no spoilers, JPEG first. Good, okay, JPEG first and yeah, baby, in metallic finish. The Art Wolf ripoff. <laughs> so I love this print. I mean, again, these pictures are special because of there's a sense of place. I was here, I remember how I felt here. So that's part of it too, but I really like the picture. I like that there's like a little Bob Ross, you know who Bob Ross is? A little dab, dab, dab over here. A little dab, dab over here of light. And uh, so this one is special to me and I'm gonna show you how I display them. So what I like to do is get one of these little shelves from Ikea, and I put a couple of them together. And what's great about that is you don't have to hang anything. You can actually switch these prints that are mounted, uh, move them around, and uh, it's a nice way to display your work. All right, so how do I get the colors to go from the Fuji JPEG to the Lightroom computer, to Bay Photo, to the print to look great? All right, guys, to get great colors, first of all, your monitor needs to be calibrated. So this is what I use. This is the Spider 5 by Data Color. It'll get your monitor to actually show true colors, and it actually takes a little ambient reading from um, your room. So if your room's pretty bright, it'll adjust accordingly. So this is the first step, is to make sure your monitor's colors are set. The second thing is to go to wherever you're printing and I'll just use Bay Photo as my example, but they actually have what's called an ICC profile. And what you do is you download that, and here it is here, downloaded. Now to get, IC, to get profiles on there, you go to the Finder window and actually hold down the Option key. You have to hold down the Option key under the Go menu so that you have your library. And in the library, look up your profiles. You actually have Color Sync, and you'll actually see the profiles that you have. So if I go to my downloads folder, you'll see that I downloaded the Bay Viewing and all you have to do is drag it and put it into your profiles. Uh, and I already have it in there, so I won't put it in there. And then once you're in Lightroom and you go to the develop module, all you have to do is hit the S key for soft proof. And if you look on the right over here, you can choose different papers. If I wanna go to White House Custom Color, I can go there. So I pick which profile I wanna view. So right now I'm viewing the colors for Bay Photo. And you can actually go up here and choose Gamut Warning. And if you notice, 
you get this little red thing. That means that Bay can't print or reproduce whatever color is in there. You can change the reds and get rid of that warning. It'll usually ask you, do you want to make a proof copy? Sure, I want to make a proof copy. And once you sort of pick whatever colors you want here, you can export it as a JPEG and upload it to Bay Photo. And the colors from their printers should totally match your monitor. All right, there you have it, guys. <laughs> Let's print more of our images, man. Fuji's sensor just does such a nice job and the images are just dying to be printed. Let us know in the comments how you print your images. Do you print them yourself? Which lab do you use uh, if you do send them out? And I'll see you guys next time.